Hello everybody, welcome. This is Wendy. I'm so excited that you're here today to see my super sweet little flamingo card. It's actually pretty bright and fun and cheerful, which is exactly what I was going for. Um, this card is going to be for my team members and we'll get into that. So the supplies that I used on this card are listed here on the screen, except for the stamp set, because the stamp set is brand new. It will not be available to purchase, to purchase until June 1st. The new Stampin' Up! catalog is coming out. If you need one of those, you can place an order with me and I will get one mailed to you for free. Um, if you don't want to place an order and you still want one, the catalog itself is free, but I just ask that you pay shipping if you don't plan on placing an order with me. If you... Um, if you already have a demonstrator or you're a demonstrator yourself, I just request that you don't request a catalog from me um, and get one from your demonstrator. Okay, so I am going to mask off this um, Whisper White cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I folded it in half to make an A2 top folding card. I'm using post-it note tape here to, to mask off all the edges that I don't want ink on. So I'm going about a quarter of an inch down from the top fold, a quarter inch up from the bottom fold. I'm using the width of the post-it note tape on the left side and about a quarter of an inch in here on the right side. I am using this grid paper to make sure all my lines are straight. I'm doing that by simply lining up the cardstock in the first place and then putting all of the um, post-it note tape in line with it. All right, we're gonna use my favorite color, and this is probably my favorite color combination, these three colors that I'm about to use. I'm using Lemon Lime Twist, and you're gonna see the video sped up quite a bit here because um, ink blending is a process. You see how slow it's starting out, and you have to really layer the inks on top of each other to get them to be a really nice, um, blended look without being splotchy or um, I don't know what the word is but basically when if you don't go really slow and you don't layer the color um, on top of each other by blending with a really light touch you're gonna get these really splotchy marks and kind of like a sponge look so I have to admit that I have recently ordered new blending tools because I'm very curious to see if there's a difference between the blending I get with a sponge and the blending I could possibly get using a blending tool. So I'm gonna be using the blending tool and seeing what that's like um, because I'm just curious. So curiosity is getting the best of me and I'm gonna try out some blending tools versus um, sponges and see what I which one I like better. Okay, so now I'm peeling away my post-it note tape and then I'm not going to move my cardstock. I'm just going to add my post-it note tape that I've already used uh, about a half inch wide and I'm going to create kind of a little line going across. When I first created this card, I, um, I felt like it needed a little something more. Uh, it just wasn't quite enough for me, so I went ahead and added this extra little strip here going right across for the, um, just to add this extra piece of interest. You'll see when I get all done here. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment down at the bottom, and I messed up because I pushed too hard, and you see that little black dot? Yep, kind of stuck with it now. There's where I messed up because I had too much ink there. So just watch for those things. Um, it's not like running my card and I always say we're handmade, not Hallmark. I think I actually stole that saying from Jennifer McGuire, but it's the truth. And so I'm not real worried about it. And then I'm gonna stamp these little pieces of grass here um, in Lemon Lime Twist. Lemon Lime Twist is one of my new favorite colors. It's probably my favorite color, and it reminds me a lot of the Twisted Citron color from, I think that that's a Distress Ink, um, super similar color. So I think that Stampin' Up! did a great job by giving us that color, and I hope it sticks around 
even longer than it's supposed to. So here's a little peek at the Flamingo stamp set and it really has this cool layering effect. And I toyed around with this quite a bit before I did any stamping for you, but I'm stamping in the new powder pink color first. And I really love this color. It sets so nicely and it's just beautiful color. And then I'm going to go to my flirty flamingo color, which hello, perfect color for this flamingo. And this is my second stamping layer. And that is going to provide kind of a shading, if you will, for the darker part of the flamingo. You could combine any pinks you wanted to create, you know, all kinds of different varieties of fl flamingos but um, I really liked the powdered pink and flirty flamingo together. The last step is going to be to add the black. Now you could go with even a darker pink if you wanted to, but I found that the black on top of the pink really makes the flamingo pop and just adds what I feel like is the necessary definition to finish off the flamingo. Plus his little beak at the very end is black and so um, it just, it provides the ability to add that black piece. So I just really like it stamped with the Memento Tuxedo Black. You could use any um, black ink here. I, there's no reason I use the Memento specifically. I'm new, now using Bermuda Bay ink and I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of water under this flamingo's feet and just kind of stamping around the edges to have the water come up behind him. I considered masking off his legs and feet, but frankly, I did not want to mess with trying to stamp that much precision. So I just didn't worry about it. And if the ink stamped over the top of his feet, I wasn't, I didn't care. I wasn't going to worry about it. Okay. So now I'm going to do a little bit of ink sponging on the edges. I didn't re dip my sponges into the ink. I just used these with the remaining ink that was already on them. And I'm just going over each area um, to give it a little bit of color, added color. And I'll show you the difference in the two. Um, right here, you can, you can really see the difference in the two if you use it or you don't. Um, it's subtle. It's not something super strong. But it, uh, it adds a little something. It adds a little something to the, to the piece and kind of makes it blend better, I think, into the card background. So uh, I loved it. I loved how it turned out. And I really was happy that I thought of adding a little ink blending there to the flamingo piece. So I'm just going to re-burnish the edges here with my bone folder. And then I'm going to add on my flamingo piece. And I want to pop it up, of course. It's very rare I do a card that doesn't use dimensionals. Uh, fairly rare. Every once in a while I do a one layer card, but for the most part, I like to pop my stuff up. All right, so then I'm just gonna layer it down here and I am finished. That is my card. You could add a lot of details to this. Oh, I did, I added a, a googly eye. I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna add a googly eye. I'm using the fine tip glue pen, but you could add a lot of other stuff to this. You could splatter it with water to create some of those water um, splotches, you could add sequins. Uh, actually really fought myself not to add sequins because I tend to want to add sequins to everything. And so um, when you're all done, you have this super cute flamingo guy. And these cards are for the top 10 in sales on my team for the month of April. Every month I try really hard to make them a special card that's just for them. And so they'll all receive this card and it is just letting them know that they were awesome in the month of April by selling in the top 10 in our group. So um, if you're interested in joining my team, you can go to my blog and check out the information there. Uh, you would click on save 20%. Okay, so uh, the other two videos here, you can click on those to watch those, or you can click on the little round circle that has my face in it to subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.